The message of my book that people really need to understand is that we have dismantled the infrastructure of growth and of high living standards for the American middle class without thinking about it. Because we, ha we, we thought that you could just let big companies and individuals go their own way, and if you add up all the individual effort, it's all going to work out fine. You got a guy like Andy Grove at Intel, who ran Intel for 20 years saying, you cannot rely on a large corporation or large corporations to build the nation's growth. They will each go after their own sector and each go after their own profit, and they will not necessarily add to the center, to the whole, to the growth of the country, the well-being of the country. I think we need to get back to those basic notions of, of collaboration, of thinking of America as a family, of thinking of investment over the long run, of understanding that we compete better when we work together, whether it's politically, and that's very important, we're divided terribly politically. We need to think about working together politically, working together economically, and actually sharing more. Because when you have high inequalities of income, the economic studies show absolutely it slows growth. It's destructive to growth. And when you have more shared income, you have much better growth, higher standards of living, better life for people. 